Hey folks, John here from Catbird Hill. Well, we've got a different type of video today, an unboxing. I know that's a big deal on YouTube, right? Uh, we've done probably 20 videos. I don't think we've ever done an unboxing, so this will be the inaugural unboxing. Uh, I apologize, I'm not exactly in my Sunday best today. Uh, today was grass cutting and weed whacking day, so and compared to the last video where I was taking apart the fallen cherry tree in the back of the property, it's probably 25 to 30 degrees warmer today. We've, it's, I, the last time I checked, I think it was 86 or 87 degrees here in southeastern Pennsylvania, so I have done my share of sweating today, so I apologize if I look a little, uh, a little edgy. So, uh, this was sent to me by a friend of mine and I have been, uh, as many of you know from previous videos, I like chainsaws. And I have been collecting chainsaws uh, for a while now. And I've made friends actually all over the world uh, who are collectors and have similar interests. So it's not uncommon for us to buy and sell saws from each other and, and even just trade saws. So this uh, is a saw that I uh, received in trade for one that I sent to him. So I have not opened it up yet. It's still all sealed up and got a question mark on there. I wonder if what is inside is a steel MS461R, which means a wrap handle. Um, it would be great if it was. That's an awesome saw. Uh, I do not have that particular model. But I know that this particular friend of mine is a collector of steel chainsaws, so who knows, maybe he just used the box. Let's, uh, let's open up and see what we have here. Uh, he always does a great job in packing. Wow, all right. Oh, nicely padded. That's pretty cool. Usually what we end up doing when we are trading saws back and forth uh, in our different uh, collection groups is we end up exchanging each other's packing material, so I may send him a saw at some point and just use the same packing material. Whoa, all right. Hmm. I said uh, in our Instagram post earlier today, boxes can be deceiving. What do we have here? My goodness, it's not a steel, if you, if you haven't figured that out yet. Sorry, steel fans, if you thought it was a steel. John Sereds. Nine e That's a chainsaw. Uh, so... You know I like the old chainsaws, and I only have, I think I only have a couple of John Sereds, and most, I think both I have are relatively modern models. This is the oldest one that I will have uh, obtained. If I'm not mistaken, I think the 910 is an 86cc saw, so we're talking about a big boy here. Wow. And this is uh, definitely vintage. You know, there's no chain break on this. There's a, there's, a, there's a hand guard here. So that was state of the art at the time. I guess the thought being if there was something that unexpected happened, at least your, your hand would be protected. But uh, definitely not uh, a modern safety standard. Oh, really, really cool stuff. I mean, just look how simple the, uh, 
the on off switch is just a simple toggle up and down there's something i actually like about that the the the, the new echo chainsaws still have that feature and uh, i know some people complain about it i don't know i just as i get older i like the simpler stuff so let's uh let's see if it works put a little fuel in there <laughs> you don't see that too often the fuel and the oil fills are literally about an inch and a half apart put some fuel in there and see what happens I really don't remember when I was talking to him about this saw to have yeah I got enough oil in there just put a little bit in uh, when I was talking to him about this chainsaw I honestly don't even remember if he told me he had it running recently you know, usually when when we get saws I guess it's just part of being you know into the collection thing usually when you get a saw at least when I do I take it apart I you know look at the fuel line carburetor you know the stuff that's fairly inexpensive to replace uh, just so that I know I'm starting out with something new unless you know the person has already done a rebuild on it he definitely emptied everything out see there was steel involved in this video steel bar oil I know there's no bar on it it's not as if I'm going to be cutting but I always like to put some oil in there just to see if the automatic oiler functions and pulls the oil up you'll see that ooze out of the exit hole on the uh, clutch side I'll tell you this he was he, he, he sent me sent me some pictures and it looked to be in really good shape for its age and, and I, I really, it really is I mean there's just some you know some minimal wear like on the corners of the starter cover there the the clutch cover which is usually one of the things that always gets beat up looks absolutely pristine Boy, oil came out just with me filling it that was just having it on its side so that's a good sign at least the oil's uh, the oil lines clear all right let's fire up and see what happens here choke ah wow there's actually a decompression but I'm really surprised at that let's see what happens here fuel Sorry, taking the choke off idea what that is there's a little slide here I can't say I've ever seen that before choke start ah uh, you know what that is that's a throttle lock that's really crazy I've never seen that before so you lock your throttle in You lock your throttle in there, and then lift this up, man. This thing's heavy. And then you slide that down. It keeps the throttle locked. Probably for easier starting. <laughs> I'm 
wondering if by any chance he disconnected the spark plug. Yep. The boot was off. No wonder it wouldn't start, huh? Probably flooded it at this point. Let's do this. We may have to do the old foolproof method of holding that throttle wide open. Make sure you guys can see me. My classic move of positioning the camera so you can never see my face, which eh, maybe some of you think that's not a bad idea, right? <laughs> so I think I had flooded it by um, pulling it so much with full choke and the spark plug boot wasn't connected. And that's really actually a very smart thing uh, that he did shipping a chainsaw uh, it's a great idea to disconnect the spark plug boot I just totally forgot about that uh, I can tell from the cardboard that I have this sitting on on the bed of my truck it's definitely oiling oh yeah awesome let's see the oil nice well, that's a pretty cool unboxing. 
So I want to clean it up. I am going to take a look at the carb um, and probably take a look at the cylinder too. Although this guy doesn't doesn't uh, he believes in telling me if there's anything wrong with the saw. So, but I just want to pull maybe pull the muffler, see how it looks in there, and. I'm really happy with this. I think this is going to be an awesome saw. I really love this size of saw too. I, you know, as you know from previous videos, we do have a lot of big trees here, and I think this is going to be a great addition to the stable. So, question for everybody out there: Now that you've seen this and you know it's a big saw, it's an 80, I think 86 cc is what I said. I'd like to see in the comments what length of bar you guys think I ought to put on this. I, I do not have a bar yet for this, at least I don't think I do. Um, most, uh, you know, uh, John Sered's is actually the same as Husqvarna. So Husqvarna bars generally fit these saws. Um, I just have to double check the mount. But I, I want to hear in the comments what length of bar you'd like to see me run on this. And I will get that length of bar and we'll put a chain on it tune this up a little bit and then pop it into some really big wood and let's see how it cuts. So a short video, well I hope uh, this probably wasn't short, I think you watched me struggle starting this thing for at least five minutes. Um, a little different video today. Thanks a lot for watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, the subscribers, uh, thank you for subscribing if, you, if you've done so recently to the channel. If you like the videos, please give us the thumbs up. Share them with your friends and other people who you think might enjoy this content. Uh, please click the, uh, th the, uh, the icon for the bell to, to let you know when we're going to be publishing new videos. So till next time, John here from Catbird Hill. Take care.